Hello everyone, welcome back to the Daily Contract. This is Bryant and here we are with the XTS 3000 series as promised. So, as you can see in front of you, there's a Model 1, Model 2, and of course a Model 3. XTS 3000 UHF set of radios. So, why my squad uses these different radios? We're going to get into that, and I'm going to explain the pros and the cons about each one. So, my squad has the board of directors, or trustees, and that's the president, vice president, treasurer, secretary, uh, two mutual aid coordinators, public information officer, and a few other dignitaries that go around town, promote the squad, and participate in official business and they use the XTS 3000 model 1 reason being it's simple um, if you drop it you're not going to crack the screen um, there's really no need for a keypad you only have your 16 channels you got your three zones your emergency button the same program side buttons these are all configured in the same fashion all same channels, talk groups. Um, we do still use Modat on a few of our um, on a few of our channels, so we utilize Modat and MDC twelve hundred signaling on a couple of our different channels. Don't ask me why we still use Modat. We still do. <laughs> it's um, very primitive, I know, but so this is the Model One protect the integrity of my my units here now the model 2 obviously has a screen and a limited keypad so there is the option to navigate if you're in the field rather than go through the three position concentric switch up here the, the three zones and the 16 channels again same type of configuration up here so, these are used for the emergency medical technicians that we have, uh, the rescue techs, um, these are also used by um, our membership in general. And the reason being, sometimes when we're in the field, we have to navigate to the different uh, township frequencies, we need to make sure we're all on the same channel. Or we need to move to a different channel if we have a large scale type incident. And you can see that we still keep our radios in great shape. Some of these have just been taken out of the box. We kept a lot of them in storage for a rainy day. So that's the Model 2. And then this is the Model 3. So the Model 3 is actually utilized by the battalion chiefs we have three districts so we have three battalion chiefs um, these are also used by the mutual aid coordinators if they so desire they can pick which radio they want obviously most of them go with this one because it's shiny and it looks great because it has a keypad but yeah this is the full DTMF keypad so this also has the paging option in it so they can call different radios, um, they can call different personnel, and they can get in touch with anyone they need to. They can also move to the different trunk systems from this radio. And it's, I personally like the Model 2s and Model 3s, but the Model 1 does have its purpose. You know, if you have someone who's just participating in an administrative capacity, they don't really need to navigate between different trunked radio systems. They don't need to call radios and do all that jazz. Something like this is very simple, very basic. If you're just getting into two-way radios or if you're just getting into public safety and you're granted permission to have a two-way radio, start with a Model 1. Um, if you drop it, they're fairly easy to recase. They're not as expensive. If you go to a Model 2, you got to worry about replacing the keypad, sometimes the hardware inside, 
the keypad itself under the membrane. You also have to replace the screen. And these screen parts are getting very, very, very difficult to find. Very difficult to find. Um, these obviously are no longer produced by Motorola, which is a shame. But again, it's all part of a, a money-making thing that they want to move on to the APX. And they want people to have the best of the best. Which, I still stand behind these 100%. They're still great radios. My squad swears by them. We are going to hold out as long as we can before having to move to APX. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, you can clearly see the difference between each one. You know, it's it's common sense. You get more with each individual model, but you also get more exposure. So, it's really up to your department. It's up to your, your personal preference. Um, these are utilized, not just by public safety, but in construction. Uh, security forces, uh, security specialists, security teams, the whole security industry. I've seen not so much 800 megahertz, but VHF, UHF, in simplex. Um, just because P25 requires a Quantar repeater to be able to transmit and receive P25 signaling, especially if you want to run, run encryption. I've never seen security with encryption. Unless they're working on a, a government site. But, um, yeah, you, you never know. You might have some wackadoos out there that want to listen to, like, school security. And then it, encryption becomes a, a bit of an issue. We're thinking about going to encryption. We're thinking about transitioning over to AES-256 or DES-FOB. But that's, uh, that's still up in the air. Just because we're not entirely sure if... The XTL 2500, uh, yeah, 2500s and 5000s, along with the uh, dispatch consoles that we have at headquarters, if they're going to be able to transmit and receive the same as the portable radios here. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please make sure that you put them in the comment section. I'll be sure to check that out. And as always, please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that I'm doing my job right. I'm keeping you guys informed. You like the information that you're getting. And uh, if there's anything you want to see, just, uh, yeah, just leave that in the comment section below. Next video, I'm waiting on that housing to come in for my 5,000. I'm also waiting on an HT750 to come in. It still hasn't shipped out yet. I did get the yellow housing. The yellow safety housing so i'll recase that and yeah we'll uh we'll do that in the next video all right guys well it's been a pleasure again this is brian from the daily comp check stay safe stay connected take it easy